Hello, it's Dominique. So I continue on this first section. I forgot to tell you before uh, you mat everything, you have to put your magnets or ribbons for the closure. You always have to think about the closure when you um, when you make a, an interaction. How you're going to close it so you know when to put your closure, whatever it's going to be. So if you want to put a ribbon, I just remind you that it's better if the, the knot or the bow is on the top here, not on the side here, because if it's on the side here, this won't open. So you need to have it like attached to here and then somewhere around here or here, but not here. So that the bow or the, no, the, the knot is going to be around here or here as you wish, but not here. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to make the envelope. I'm going to show you from the other book. This part here. So here I had this closure that I'm not going to make the same because I might my pattern will allow me to make a difference, hopefully. So it opens here and here, opens here and here. I'm going to have a larger flap here. And also you have the two flaps here, the pockets here, and on the top you have a little interaction here with the pocket. Okay, so we're going to do that, something similar to that anyways. Okay, Let's that one out. Okay, so I got all my papers. First, you have to find out what you're gonna put on there, on the top. So I wanna put a llama right on top here. So I calculated my pockets according to that, okay? But if you have something that's smaller, it'll be easier. If it's bigger, it might be harder. So, because you don't want the design here to be, because there's gonna be a flap here, you don't want it, the design to be more than what you got underneath the flap. Otherwise, you have to take two of the, the same design and have it continue, like I just did on this one here. Like you see this one here. So I had this flap, but I had hit uh, continue. As you see, you're gonna see it's the same design. Just continue. So then you get to spoil two of the llamas or whatever design you have there. That's precious. Okay. So first of all, I have my first uh, piece is going to be the bottom here so all my pieces are going to measure five and a quarter inch okay five and a quarter inch everything that's gonna go in here except for the pocket inside okay and this one here I took the whole 11 inches so I scored the line at about half an inch or a quarter inch let's say yeah a quarter inch and then I left three eighths of an inch gusset so I have two lines here I'm going to taper the little piece that's going to be glued on, which I call my seam. And I just fold those properly and glue that on. This is one of my favorite interactions. I really like making that. So when you glue it on, you make sure that you see your gusset so you know exactly where to put your flap. Make sure it's nice and flush with your page here. And if you have rounded the corners here, you have to go just above the, the half, the, like the circle here, the corner. Okay, you do that here. So that's one. And also, what I have done is I have, because of the size of my uh, llama and my piece of paper here, I have scored a line at six inches here. Okay, so that score line is going to be folded like this for a little flap, extra flap. Okay, so that's this one. Then the top one, um, get uh, the little top. So here I have again the same width, which is five and a quarter. And here I have six and yeah, six inches. Okay. Here you're going to score a line at three eighths and three eighths. Is that what I got here? Three eighths and three eighths. So two two lines for three, three eighths. Okay. So we gotta taper those corners. I've rounded my corners here. I've done that here too. Okay, just fold that. And then you glue that on. And you just uh, do the same on the top. Sometimes you have to stand so that you avoid the, just underneath the, um, the circle, the half circle that you've done. Uh, little curve on the corner that you've punched. Okay, make sure it's nice and flush with the sides here. Here. 
Now I've got, this is a different, um, a different way to do that. So here I'm going to have a, usually I have two flaps, okay? And I glue two pieces, but I decided that I would make the one piece and just score two lines at about a quarter inch, okay? So this measures again, five and a quarter by eight and a half. That's my eight and a half sheet. And I scored and I made sure that I had a smaller one than the other, okay? So the smaller one's gonna be on the top. So I just fold those two lines. I run my corners. So instead of gluing two pieces and it makes it so thick here, I'm going to, this is the part that's going to be glued on. So I have my two flaps. I think it's much less work and it makes less bulk on your interaction. So you put the glue right there on the gusset. You have the flap, the, the smaller flap on the top and you just do that on to wherever you want. So I'm going to do it like a quarter inch from the gusset, from the line, the, the fold line, okay? So that I have a little piece here, the paper. It's more work, but I like having a, a little trim of paper, of pattern paper there. So I just glue that on, okay? So that's what I call the double flap. So you have a flap like this and then another one like this. It's not gluing because it's thick paper. Let me do that again. Make sure it's nice and flush with your sides again. Your pocket. I have to wait a little bit more. Now what I have, I have a flap interaction. So on this one here, we're going to make an interaction. Now I did that wrong, I think. Yes. So here you have a piece of, again, five and, a five and a quarter, and you have to have, from the line here, so you score, you're going to score two lines, okay, a quarter inch here, or so, and then here I'm going to have just um, one eighth, one eighth of an inch here, and then you measure wherever your flap is, so that it finishes where the, the corner starts to curve okay so that's where I should get my my line my score line I didn't do it right so I will do that one okay so that's where my flap is going to fold and then you need to have something smaller than that one on the top so you're going to do that. also that's another technique I just found out Instead of using a pencil, when you need to uh, make a line of where you're going to cut or score, you just use your score tool here, and you just press on it. And then you're going to see exactly where it is, so you don't have to erase those lines anymore. That's a new thing I just found out, figured out. Okay. So, oh yeah, that, I had measured it for this flap, but I want to do it in this flap. So here my piece is going to be, again, five and a quarter by... Uh, seven and a half okay so you have uh, about a quarter inch here quarter inch uh, score line and then another one one eighth and then the other one is at uh, three and three and seven eighths for the one that folds but that depends on how high you've done it so if it's shorter you go shorter if it's longer you can go longer but you don't have to so again, I taper my little corners here, up, just away from the gusset, fold both lines. So we need to have a little gusset here because it's going to be a pocket inside. Okay, and you just glue that on top. Uh, oh, it has to be to go this way. So I just fold it on the other side. Sorry. It's going to fold to uh, glue on this side right here. Sorry, right on the edge. So you have to have your flap down and your little piece that you're gluing up. Okay, if you can see, you can see there. And this is going to fold on this side. And this might be a little bit too long, so I'm going to trim that and round the corners later. Okay, you do that now. So that's done. And then you're going to have a little pocket on top of that. So here I have a little pocket. I call it flat pocket. So I think it's a little bit too big because I shortened my 
my uh, lip or I got interaction. So that's what it is here. So I'm going to, so here, this one is a little wider. So this one is going to be six inches and you score line at about, so that it contains inside here. So that's, I got uh, two, three, uh, three eighths on each side, pretty much. Three eighths, yeah. So you fold it. First you have to taper the corner, the whole thing. As I usually do. Fold those. And then you do that one. Right on the inside. So this is folded. So right inside here. Um, yeah. Right here. I'm gonna have a little ribbon or a little piece of string to tie that so I'm gonna put that on right now one here so I'm going to put that underneath right now right in the center I don't want to put another magnet there's so many magnets in this thing so I'm gonna save a little bit of them so now that's good I'm gonna glue that on here and then once it's glued on I'm going to put another piece of rib of uh, string here in the, in the back going to tie on top of it okay has to be aligned with the one on the bottom so you just go like this and then you can check if it's right there so that's what it is now there's the one thing that I haven't prepared I will do next time it will be just a couple of seconds is the pockets here so maybe I can do it right now do I have a piece of sheet Okay. No, that's not the right one. Scrap, scrap, scrap. I have a scrap here. So this one, I'm going to get again six inches. Let's get rid of a few things here because it's too much stuff here. The table's not big enough to have it all messed up. So uh, you need to have six inches. Let's make it five inches. So six by five. Then you score a line at um, three eighths, I think. So you check on your. So here I make a line where the edges of the base page. I'm going to score a line there. Always score your lines before you cut those for multi pockets so that all your pockets are the same width. It's the best way to do it. After you score the two lines, you can cut whatever you want to have the pockets. I'm going to make one, two, three. Could be whatever you want. Okay. Now I'm going to start with the bottom one. So I'm going to taper just a little bit the bottom. Fold this inside. If I don't have time to finish that, I'll finish it up uh, next video. So you have to uh, glue that on the bottom. You have to leave uh, just like a sixteenth or a thirty second of an inch. Oh, I forgot to put the glue. You have to put the glue right here too. Fine line here. That's the bottom of the, the bottom pocket. Okay. So you go like this, right on the bottom. Align with the edges, centered, and just leave it maybe a little like a 32nd of an inch from the bottom so that this moves freely. Next you take the second one, just fold them, you 
can see. Then you go just like 1 32nd uh, higher than the pocket, the bottom pocket we've just glued on, so that there's a little space to put a, a card or something. If it's flush with it, it's not going to work. It wouldn't, there won't be any access. You just glue that on, and then you do the same with the last one. So you got your pockets. You can do as many as you want there. But I wouldn't do like five of them, because then it gets too thick with all the cards inside, and then it gets like there's no room here. So I would go three, four, no, no more. And then this one you do the same. Just a 32nd of an inch higher, nice and aligned with the bottom one. And there you go, you got your three pockets. And then I'm going to map that with you later because there's a way to do that. And if you can find a pattern paper where you have a nice pattern, continuing pattern, uh, I'll show you how to make that so that you have continuing uh, uh, pattern paper that is showing exactly how it should be. Okay, so I have to do that along quite a bit of time. And then let me check how much time I've got left. So now what you do, okay, these here, this one here, we have made uh, a fold wherever you want, as, as long as it, uh, um, it has about an inch uh, overlapping the, the bottom page there. Here I have to cut a little bit, I made it a little bit too long, I'm just going to cut like a quarter inch not easy to cut after because it has to contain inside here so it's good now. It was a little too long it, it couldn't fold. Around my corners. This one here. Okay so this is my closure. So what I've done I've uh, punched with my one inch punch circle punch two little pieces uh, four pieces here of uh, cardstock you glue two, uh, two together, two together, and then you do the same with pattern paper you want on top. Then you find the center and you just punch it with a little punch. Uh, where's my punch? I want to show you which one I've used. What do I do with it? So it's just a, a sixteenth of an inch punch. So I just punch that in the center. Now I have to have two brads, which I have right here. But before you do that, you have to mat. Okay, so I've already cut my matting, my uh, paper, that pattern paper to mat. So I'm going to do that right now. So those two, before you put the, the envelope closure, you have to mat the surfaces where you're going to do that. Okay. So this is my one piece here. I left a, a 30 second of an inch all around, and some flush, and then I did the same for this one. Check again before you glue, because it's hard to cut when you have glue on your paper. I've done that, I've been there. This goes on top here, okay. There, nice and centered. It's all nice and glued on, solid. Then you do the top, so you're gonna find out where the center is. So here we have five inches, so two and a half, about I would say maybe three quarters of an inch away from the bottom. Here, so this is gonna go right here. So then you can use something to poke through. So don't forget to open that flap here when you do that. Then you have to have a piece of string, which I haven't cut yet. I think I'm going to do it just a little bit on the side, so that my other one's here, otherwise it will be going on top of the llama there. So I'm going to make sure that this covers it, because I already pursed it, and I'm going to go here, I put my piece of string through the hole here. Hopefully I'll be able to do that without a needle. It's 
quite thick. Use some fabric glue to glue it down. I like to glue it down on the bottom of the put some glue. I glue that down here. Okay. So I put my brad in. I've done that lots of times. Just for the new the new people on my channel, they know they want to know how to. Okay, so you have your brad in there. You just go in the hole and just open those two little brads there. Okay, and then the other one has to be exactly where's it here? Exactly aligned with it, which is the best thing. And you have to leave maybe half an inch here. So I'm gonna go here. Make a mark with my pencil. Did I go through? I'm gonna make a mark with this thing. It's gonna be easier. So here, nice and aligned. Then I open everything, make sure I have only the one layer. Go through. Now I have my brad and my other um, circles. And I go through here. So here we have all that. Here. And then it closes. Don't press too hard, don't make it too flat so that you have room, it's easy to, to put the string underneath. So here you have it. So here you have it. So open this. Here you have the second flap. I'm gonna cover all that. You can do that now. Okay? Then you have this one. It opens like this. Then you have the two flaps, this one and this one. Um, no, this one and this one. What did I do? Okay, this is on top of it. This is supposed to be tied together. Okay, this is tied together. So this one opens. I'm gonna round the corners. I have to cut a little bit because it's a little bit too long. So you can you have a little pocket here. This closes together. So that's the one flap. Then you have another flap. Oh, this is supposed to be glued on to this, but I can leave it that way. So you have three flaps. One, two, three. And here this one didn't glue on, but you have the three pockets inside. Okay. If you want this little interaction we've done, you can glue it on, <clears throat> sorry, to here and then have a little uh, pocket there. That's what I'm going to do because I have enough flaps. Like too many flaps is too many. <laughs> <clears throat> so I'm going to glue that on here. So I'm just going to put a fine line here on each side and glue that onto this one. So here I have a pocket behind it. There you go. So that's what the interaction is about. So <clears throat> I will cover all of that. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> it's morning. And uh, after I've covered that, uh, I'll show you every page. So if you want to do the same paper, you can uh, do that easily. You'll see what I've used paper, what kind of paper I've used. And then uh, after that, uh, we'll go, we're going to do uh, the work on the second uh, in, uh, cover or section. Yeah, section. Okay, so stick around. See you later. Thank you.